Good afternoon and welcome to Springfield Stadium for the last time of the 2021-2022 football season. The Bulls today, some changes to the starting 11 from two weeks ago. In gold, Ewan van der Vliet, a back four of Johnny LeCain on the right of the back. Jack Cannon, left back. The middle is James Kerry, the captain, who will be partnered today by Josh Daniels. We expect a midfield of Joe Kilshaw and Cayman Nafka, Adam Trotter, and then up front today, Calvin Weir, Lorne Bickley and Jake Prince. On the bench is Robert Martins Figuera, Francis Lekimamati, Kieran Lester and JJ Lloyd, of course, management. No change there, Gary Freeman and Kevin Nelson. For Fleet Town, also known as the Blues, is in goal, Rue Hardcastle, Luke Alana. They have James Dinsdale, their skipper is Daniel Bone, Khalid Babakir, Shamar Patet, Rowan Sharrett, Ben Maunders, Mac Vary, Billy Oram and Matthew Piers make their starting 11. Their subs today are Alfie Neville, Elliot Amager, Ellis McLean, Daniel Framp and Camden Simmons. They are managed by Dave Kelly. The man in the middle from Reading is Dan Malion, who will take du duties today, assisted by Nicholas Arbuckle from Frimley and Jack Healy from Worcester Park. Well, it looks like everybody's ready. We're underway here at Springfield. And the skipper Bone clears it up. And as far as Johnny LeCain, he's got Kilshaw. Good ball through to Jake Prince. Prince, has he got the pace? Prince! Oh, good save by Hargars. The ball comes back now. Lorne Bingley! Oh, and his shot goes past the right-hand post of Hardcastle. But really good play there. We see Jake Prince getting the better there of Lana. Had him for pace. Got on the inside and the keeper does well with his legs to save that one and keep the score at nil-nil. And on this side is Lana, but well intercepted by Nafke. Read that well. Nafke now looking for a bit of support. Plays it nicely into the middle and he's got Joe Kilshaw. Plays it forward. Here comes Weir. He's onside. He is onside and it is a goal kick. And Calvin Weir with a guilt-edged opportunity. Just the keeper to beat. He just can't bring it down. Gets underneath it and it goes over the bar. But what a lovely bit of play there. And again, the ball's game is starting to open up here now. Here comes Jake Prince. Now, is he going to take on Babakir here? Cuts inside, Prince goes for goal. Oh, it falls to Weir, and that's a goal! Calvin Weir, Jake Prince wins the ball, cuts inside, he tries the shot himself, and it, as he does, Calvin Weir steams in from the right-hand side, controls the ball well, and his left-footed shot into the bottom corner of the net, and Hardcastle had absolutely no chance. So it is now Jersey Bulls 1, Fleet Town 0. The goal just on the half hour mark. Fine work between Jake Prince and Calvin Weir. Oh, Trotter, good ball. Here comes Calvin Weir again. First time into the box. Prince scuffs his shot. Bickley's there. Prince, oh! What defending by Fleet Town and Bone at the last there, managing to stop Jake Prince. How the Bulls didn't score is just anybody's guess. That was a guilt-edged chance there. The man who scored the first, Calvin Weir, causing all sorts of problems on that right-hand side, crossing the ball in. Unbelievable, it's still only 1-0. Just seen there, quickly intercepted by Dinsdale, does well, but they've given it away again. Nafka has Prince, Prince now, going into the box. Prince, company Babakir again. Here comes Cannon, Cannon, gonna whip this one in, he does. No, he doesn't get anything on it and Bone clears it. Kerry and Daniels at the back though, hooked back in. And then Bone just gives it straight to Prince. Bickley waits in the middle, Prince crosses it. In comes Weir at the far post. Now it's Weir. Crosses it. Handball there. There's a call. Well, not giving the referee's hands behind his back. 
Ball crossed in again. It looked like Patet there did handball that. Not sure his hands were in the natural position. Be interesting to see that played back. Shouts from the crowd. And it did look like Patet had infringed there in the penalty box. Now it's Trotter again. Trotter. And he's still Trotter. Prince. Trotter now. Bickley. Bickley. Saved by Hardcastle. Well, they were queuing up Bickley and Trotter there. And it was Bickley who took the shot in the end. And Hardcastle, for about the third or fourth time already in this first half, has kept the score respectable. And here comes the Kerry charge. Bickley, header. Handball. Well, again. It looked like there was a handball there on the far post and it referee, everyone stopped. And I wonder if he just had a moment to think, did that actually come off the Blues player? Again, it looked like it looks that second time in about the space of two or three minutes that there's been handballs in the penalty box, but your referee in the middle, Mr. Malion, has not given it. Trotter rises first as well. Prince keeps it. Oh, well done by Jake Prince. He's got the pace here. Has he gone? Oh, he's been held there by Maunders. Takes a shot. Straight at Hardcastle. Another good claim by the goalkeeper there. Strong hands. Look, look, there's a little bit of tug there by Maunders. And he had to be careful on Prince. The Blues so far not really creating much at all in this first half. Haven't really been able to. Balls have been... Pretty solid and looking to break, especially down this left-hand side where there are acres of space here through Cannon and Prince. And that is the final whistle of this first half from Dan Malian in the middle. The Jersey Bulls leave the pitch for the second last time of this season. They hold a 1-0 lead, the goal coming on the 30 minute mark for the Bulls with a fine finish from Calvin Weir so makes his final checks both keepers are ready the assistants are ready and we are ready and we're underway in this second half and straight away Jake Prince puts pressure on the Blues and they give away a throw in on the far side Jake Prince exceptionally lively in that first half. Playing well, linking up with Jack Cannon on that left-hand side. And that's been the biggest threat so far in this game. Nafka and Trotter dominating the midfield. And here is that man, Trotter. Here he comes again. He's got an overlap here, Johnny LeCain. Johnny LeCain looks to shoot, and he does. Oh, what a goal! Johnny LeCain! One minute gone of this second half, and Johnny LeCain only had one thought in his mind. The ball came to him from Trotter. LeCain looked up, he saw the keeper, and he absolutely smashed it into the top left-hand corner. Well, as good as Hardcastle has been in the first half, he wasn't going to stop that. He wouldn't stop that on any given day. Well, what a perfect start here for the Bulls in the second half. Less than a minute gone. Johnny LeCain pops up and does the rest. 2-0 the Bulls. So the Bulls now, not only are they cementing their position as fourth in the league, but have now gone to 97 goals scored in the league this season. Three more for the 100. Can they do it? There's plenty of time in this game. Here comes Bickley. He's got Cannon on the outside. Cannon has kept it in on that far side. Cannon to cross it in. Near post, touched on, and it's a goal! It's another goal! It's Jake Prince with the simplest of tap-ins. Ball played in there by Jack Cannon. Lorne Bickley just gets there, ahead of Bradshaw. And Jake Prince with the easiest of tap-ins to make the score. The Bulls three, Fleet Town nil. Jake Prince turns to the stand, his granddad is here and he gives him a wave. So Jake Prince, been lively first half, started the second half in the same vein, and he gets his name on the score sheet. And they've sent forward Bone, Patet, and Babakin. It breaks, and a save 
Good save by Van der Vliet there. Shot comes in. It looks like the run of Babakir there. And he just managed to get something out. Not a lot of power on it, but it does force the save out of Ewan Van der Vliet. And Van der Vliet with a long kick up for Bickley, but it's just straight to Patet who knocks it forward to Pierce. Pierce under pressure by Lecane as he has been every time he's had the ball in the second half, and it's sprayed wide quickly. Cuts inside here. Babakir looking for McLean. McLean now, he's got Pierce, and there's overlap here from Dinsdale. Calvin Weir cuts out. He doesn't manage to keep the ball though, and it's crossed in. Far post, Amadur. And then back defensively is Kieran Lester. The Blues still have it. Here's McLean. Goes wide again for Neville. Neville cuts inside, does well. Goes past Kieran Lester, plays it in, and they've scored! Well against, oh well they haven't in fact, it looked like Fleet Town were going to get something out of this game. And just as Pierce puts the ball into the net, giving Van der Vliet no chance, a look to the far side sees the orange and yellow flag of the assistant referee held up. And that won't count, still 3-0. Good challenge, chest there by Amadur, not seen much of him since he came on, not been allowed really to play. Not had the service he would have liked. light. And here come the balls again. We are. It's some more goals in this game. Well, here comes Leicester and Trotter. And Leicester. Leicester at the keeper. At his feet. Straight at him. Good save. But again, Leicester could have done more with that. He had a bit more time than he thought. Took the shot. Didn't really get the power. And the keeper was able to just get a foot to it. The ball goes back again to Hard Hard Castle. And the ball goes forward. And they come again here. The ball blues. The ball's though. Just uh, Nafka again. Well, Nafka's just been given the shuffle capital man of the match. And Nafka is there again. And that must have been a close run thing between him and Trotter. Both of them been really good today in the middle of the park. Could have gone to Trotter. Could have gone to Nafka. It is came in Nafka today. A really good game from him. Back at his best. Played in that holding solid midfield role with Trotter, allowing the Bulls to have some width, winning tough balls in the middle. We've probably got here very little time in this game. Playing added time. The curtain is falling on the first team season. They have secured fourth place in the league leapfrogging Badshot Lee on goal difference, equal on points on 81. And that is the end of the 2021-2022 season here at Springfield Stadium. The Jersey Bulls three, Fleet Town nil. Goals coming in the first half from Calvin Weir. Second half started with a cracking goal from Johnny Lacane. Soon thereafter, a tap in for Jake Prince after good work from Lorne Bickley. Some of the fleet players are down and out. Babakir, especially, who has been run off his feet today. The players shake hands. The fans applaud and all come forward to say their best wishes and their farewells for this season to the Bulls players. A great atmosphere here at Springfield Stadium today. As the managers now come to congratulate their players and each other. A really good spirited game. Played under a little bit of sunshine. A nice way for the Bulls to see out this season. They see it out as winners. They see it out as finishing fourth in the league. And they have been really good today. Every player has been at the races. They've worked hard for each other. They've worked hard for their team. And they've worked hard for their adoring fans. Well, that's it for the first team from us. We will see you, though, on Tuesday for tuning in as the under-23s look to cap the season off with a victory in the Suburban Cup. We, as always, thank you for watching the game we will see you next time. Thank you.